Jai Hind everyone and Professor Devinder Singh taking this course on machine design and this is the seventh lecture of this module. In the last lectures we have discussed the various types of loads and some introductory definitions related to machine design. Now, we are slowly moving towards the design process. So, this lecture primarily will consist of the theories of failures and various types of the modes of failure against design, design against the static load. So, the outline of this lecture includes the modes of failure under static load. We will discuss a little bit about the various modes of failure under static load. Then we will discuss about the factor of safety. Every designer use the factor of safety in his design to make his design safe against odd situations. So, sabhi ko ek wisely ek factor of safety apni design may include karne ki aafshakta hoti designer ko aur ye uske experience aur wisdom pe depend karti hai. Then we move to the introduction of theories of failure. Then we will uh, discuss about the various theories of failure like maximum principal stress theory, maximum principal strength theory and maximum shear stress theory in this uh, lecture. If time permits, we will complete all these theories of failure in this lecture. As far as the modes of failure and the static load are concerned, before discussing the modes of failure, we should understand what kind of the failures, kitne tarikhe ke failure hum ab samajhte hain ki kitne tarikhe ke failure hume consider karna chahiye aur sochna chahiye. So, types of failures, primarily jo failure hai kisi bhi product ka, kisi bhi design component ka, device ka, machine ka, wo hum do tarikhe se aur yoh do tarikhe ke failures maantte hain. First is the engineering failure and second one is the physical failure. Now, what is engineering failure? So, engineering failure mein uh, jo component hai, jo machine hai, device hai, us mein kisi tarikhe ki toot foot nahi hai, but wo device jo aapne design kari hai, jis purpose ke liye design kari hai, us purpose ko kisi ek effectiveness ke saath, kisi ek efficiency ke saath hum recommend karte hai. So, if these factors are not achievable, then it is considered as engineering failure. A simple sa example le sakte hai, boiler ka. So, suppose a boiler is designed to produce the steam with an efficiency of 40 percent. Efficiency of 40 percent after few years due to some reasons, uh, maybe scaling is one of the reason, the heat transfer rate may be affected and the steam production is reduced to 35 percent. Boiler is still able to produce the steam. Boiler abhi bhi steam generate karne mein saksha mein, lekin uski efficiency due to some reason reduce from 40 percent to 35 percent, jabki hume chahiye 40 percent. So, this is called engineering failure. It is working, but the efficiency has reduced uh, lower than what is required. So, this is called engineering failure. And physical failure is suppose there is a bursting of the tubes or a machine which gets damaged, soft broken into pieces, this is physical failure. So, a designer design the components to avoid this, he recommends the conditions, maintenance etcetera to avoid the engineering failure. So, as far as the static load is concerned, so what modes of failure may be possible. So, in these two cases may in ko hum divide karenge aur primarily teen tarikhe ke failure humare saamne aate hain. Pahala hai elastic deflection, whenever you apply a force on any material, it is subjected to deflection, it is our limitation, ye humari is limitation hai ki hum us deflection ko observe karen ya na karen, because in universe there is nothing possible which is perfectly elastic, plastic or so if whenever a force is applied on the material, it will subject it to a deflection. So, if the deflection is up to the elastic deflect, elastic limit, that is considered elastic deflection. But uh, uh, here, if I consider a case of a shaft, if I consider this is a shaft, 
right this is a shaft and it is rotating about this axis when it is subjected to some power transmission it will be a, it will be subjected to some kind of bending load along with the torsion so it may get deflected it may get get deflected like this so this point will become here and and and, and i i have to select the another uh, suppose and on the lower fiber this point becomes here this is here and this is here main ko naam de do this is suppose this is suppose point a so after deflection it will get a prime and another when it is not deflected then another point at the lower fiber is b and after deflection a, a b prime ये बी प्राइम पे पहुंची है अगर ये डिफ्लेक्शन नहीं हुआ अगर ये डिफ्लेक्शन नहीं हुआ तो यहां से ये ए ए प्राइम पे एक्सेस के अबाउट वट एवर इज द डायमीटर वट एवर इज द रेडियस दैट इज द एम्पलीट्यूड ऑफ द वाइब्रेशन ऑफ दिस मास अबाउट द एक्सेस और कक्षा बारह में सभी ने पढ़ा है कि इनर्जी एसोशिएटेड इनर्जी एसोशिएटेड विद एनी vibration is directly proportional to amplitude square but if it deflected from a to a prime this is even in a elastic deflection as soon as you remove the force it will regain its on shape so the amplitude will become twice amplitude becomes two times of the radius because it will reach here a prime then on the other side so you you may calculate the amplitude will increase and if amplitude increase the energy associated with the vibration of this mass of this particle will increase where this energy coming from ye energy aayi kahan se and if this shaft is a part of a vehicle a car ki ek ye shaft hai to us car pe ye energy aayi kahan energy hamare kahan se aati hai fuel se fuel is the source of energy for to running a vehicle ये इनर्जी अपने आप ना तो हम पैदा कर सकते हैं ना डिस्ट्रॉय कर सकते हैं तो फ्यूल इनर्जी विल बी कंज्यूम विल बी एसोसिएटेड दिस वाइब्रेशन एंड दिस वाइब्रेशन विल अफेक्ट योर माइलेज विल अफेक्ट द कंफर्ट लेवल सो दिस इज कंसीडर्ड एज अ फेलियर बिकॉज इफ इट हैपन्स इन एनी व्हीकल देन देयर विल बी वहां पे जो है कंज्यूमर्स की कमी होगी अल्टीमेटली वो फेल करेगा सो दिस इज कंसिडर्ड द फेलियर अगेंस्ट A static load, even it, if it is a constant load, and if it is beyond certain limit, the deflection, that is considered the uh, failure under static load. This is one, and it is engineering failure type. This is the uh, type which is considered as engineering failure. So this is one thing. Second, अब हम force लगाते हैं elastic deflection के आगे चलते हैं तो plastic deformation or general leveling will start. stress stress strain diagram we have discussed in the last lectures so general yielding will take place means plastic deform uh, deformation will take place iska matlab ki w load laga aur a prime b prime iski permanent deformation ho gayi so agle din subah uth ke aap apni car mein jate hain self foot lagate hain but ye ghumta nahi hai because kisi bhi weight ko h se हाइट से ऊपर ले जाना है तो आपको कितनी एनर्जी उसके लिए चाहिए एम जी एच उसकी पोटेंशियल एनर्जी है इतना उसे ऊपर लेके आने के लिए इतनी एनर्जी चाहिए इक्विलिब्रियम कंडीशन में यू नीड टू सम मोर सो इफ दिस इज प्लास्टिक डिफॉर्मेशन तो इनिशियली लोड कहाँ था जो लोअर था वो था इस डिस्टेंस पे सपोज इसी केस को मैं अगले केस में बात कर रहा हूँ कि इलास्टिक डिफ्लेक्शन से परमानेंट डिफॉर्मेशन हो गया अगर इसका इसका डायमीटर डी है तो जब आपने ये गाड़ी बंद करी तो d बाई टू डिस्टेंस पे पॉइंट b रहा प्लास्टिक डिफॉर्मेशन हो गया सो दिस डिफरेंस बिकम्स हाई सो ये मास को ये मास के लिए मास तो सेम रहा बट डिस्टेंस बढ़ गई तो अभी से साफ्ट को घुमाना पड़ेगा तभी व्हीकल चलेगा साफ्ट को घुमाना पड़ेगा तभी व्हीकल चलेगा 
तो अब इसको ऊपर घुमाने के लिए आपको ज़्यादा पावर की जरूरत है वो अगर आपके व्हीकल के पास होगी तो इट विल स्टार्ट बट वाइब्रेशन विल बी देयर सो इट विल अगेन कंसिडर्ड बिकॉज इट विल अफेक्ट द राइडिंग क्वालिटी इट विल अफेक्ट द माइलेज एंड देर आर दिस इज अ वन सिंपल एग्जाम्पल आई एम टेकिंग हियर टू टू इलस्ट्रेट द इफेक्ट और कंसिडर्ड इज कंसिडर्ड दिस इफेक्ट एज ए फेलियर सो दिस इज देर इज नो physical fracture in this shaft but it is not performing with the effect or efficiency what a consumer or designer needs to get so this is another case of failure so these are the two modes of failure under static load and the third one that is evident if shaft get back uh, can uh, will get break agar shaft do is so me toot gayi so it will not able to perform it will not able to work this is evidently anybody can say this is a failure so these are the three modes of failure under static loading right now to avoid this uh, uh, this kind of failures what a designer do in his design he use a factor that is in numbers is known as factor of safety and the value of factor of safety depends on the wisdom and the experience of the designer if you take the higher factor of safety it may make your design bulky it may cost uh, it is always uh, result in the higher cost if you include the higher factor of safety if it is lower factor of safety it may cause some danger so optimum value of factor of safety we need to apply kabhi kabhi hum hum isko open nahi karte hain kabhi kabhi monograms mein aap dekhte honge kisi ek crane pe suppose for example ek crane uh, you design for a load of 50 kilo newton suppose 50 kilo newton डिमांड आई एक आदमी ने कहा कि मुझे 50 किलो नोटिन तक के लोड उठाने क्रेन डिजाइन कीजिए क्रेन हुक डिजाइन कीजिए कंपोनेंट या कंप्लीट सिस्टम सो व्हाट ए डिजाइनर विल डू ही विल बी यूजिंग द फैक्टर ऑफ सेफ्टी इन टू वेज आइदर ही विल कंसीडर द लोड 50 किलो न्यूटन के बजाय वो कहता है कि पचास मांगा मैं सौ किलो न्यूटन के लिए डिजाइन करूंगा तो फैक्टर ऑफ सेफ्टी कितनी होगी इसमें दो दुगना लेके उसने डिजाइन किया एक दूसरा हो गया स्ट्रेंथ मटेरियल है दूसरा है स्ट्रेंथ स्ट्रेंथ हमने कहा कि एक मटेरियल था जिसकी स्ट्रेंथ 320 मेगापास्कल थी इसको लेके डिजाइन करूंगा लेकिन जब मैं डिजाइन करूं तो इस स्ट्रेंथ को मैं एक मेगापास्कल ले लू तो भी मैंने अपने मेटीरियल में अपने डिजाइन में सेफ्टी इंक्लूड कर दी यहां भी मैंने इसको आधा करके लिया या तो स्ट्रेंथ आधा कर दिया है स्ट्रेंथ को दो से डिवाइड कर दिया या इंड्यूस जो अप्लाई लोड है उसे दो से मल्टीप्लाई ये दो क्या है दिस इज दिस इज ए नंबर विच इज कॉल्ड फैक्टर ऑफ सेफ्टी ये मेरी डिजाइनर के विजडम पे या एक्सपीरियंस पे डिपेंड करेगा कि और मटेरियल जो सेलेक्ट करेगा डेफिनेटली दिया नंबर ऑफ फैक्टर्स बट अल्टीमेटली डिसीजन विल बी टेकन बाय द डिजाइनर सो स्ट्रेंथ हमने आधी की है या इसे दो से गुणा किया यहाँ दो से डिवाइड किया तो आप स्ट्रेंथ को या तो कम लेके डिजाइन करें या लोड को हाई लेके डिजाइन करें योर डिजाइन विल बी इन सेफर जोन विद द डिजायर्ड फैक्टर ऑफ सेफ्टी और फैक्टर ऑफ सेफ्टी मे बी एस बाई द कंज्यूमर और मे बी डिसाइडेड बाई द डिजाइन और वट शुड बी द ऑप्टिम फैक्टर ऑफ सेफ्टी फॉर पर्टिकुलर डिजाइन वी शुड यूज सो दिस इज a very important factor in our design as we have discussed selection of material selection of material is also affect what factor of safety we should use there are number of uh, materials where higher factor of safety there are number of application where higher factor of safety is mandatory to use for example if we need to design a uh, longitudinal butt joint for a boiler cell we should always use 4.5 or more than 4.5 factor of safety that is a recommendation for the safety purpose so there is uh, some standard norms we will discuss later when we will come to the boiler cells uh, so 
uh, I have discussed what is factor of safety. So, factor of safety is a factor that is a number the designer use in the design to make the, it safe uh, the what you are designing make it uh, safe against some unprecedented conditions unprecedented conditions aapka load bad gaya material mein koi material use hote hue rusting ho gayi dimension kam ho gaya ya koi kurafati aadmi aake zyada load ke sath kisi this uh, machine ko operate karne ki koshish ki that is unprecedented accident on roads that is unprecedented usme bhi hum uh, istemal karte hain is a factor of safety why does a factor of safety needs in design ek factor main discuss kar raha hu jab se factor of safety pe baat karna shuru kiya is lecture mein ki hame unprecedented conditions ko avoid karna hai that is the need but when we design something there are number of assumptions we use for the sim simplicity of the uh, uh, simplicity for make our analysis simple so whenever you add an assumption it invites the danger so if assumptions are more you need to use the higher factor of safety the data about the material jo material aap le rahe hain us material ki jo property aapne li ये थ्री फिफ्ट थ्री ट्वेंटी मेगा पास्कल ये कितनी रिलायबल है रिलायबिलिटी अबाउट द डाटा अगर आपने जो डिजाइन किया है कंपोनेंट मशीन डिवाइस ऑपरेटर्स वट एवर यू हैव डिजाइन इफ इट फेल्स व्हाट विल बी द कॉस्ट ऑफ फेलियर मॉनेटरी लॉस कितना हो सकता है लाइफ का लॉस कितना हो सकता है तो ये सारे फैक्टर डिजाइनर will have to consider when a factor of safety is to be uh, included in the design to kisi bhi design ke liye main ye suggest karta hu ki agar designer ke point of view soche to there are two main things yahan main kuch factor of safety ke sath kuch additional kehna chahta hu ki if you design something always remember your design must be safe and economical these are the two things which should be in your design otherwise your design ultimately eventually will fail chahe wo use mein fail ho jayega safe nahi hai to use mein fail ho jayega aur agar ye economical nahi hai to uske liye consumer nahi milega that will also uh, considered as a failed design <coughs> sorry uh, so why does a factor of safety need in design so uh, the first is uncertainty loading conditions that we have discussed हमने 50 किलो न्यूटन के लिए डिज़ाइन किया था लेकिन आके किसी ने 80 किलो न्यूटन का लोड उठा दिया सो so उसके लिए हमें फैक्टर ऑफ सेफ्टी होनी चाहिए तो उसके लिए मैंने एग्जांपल लिया है कि अगर 50 किलो न्यूटन आपने मांगा है तो मैं मांगू मानूंगा कि कभी कभी हबड़ा दबड़ी में या कोई अनएक्सपीरियंसड आदमी इससे बढ़ सकता है तो आई कंसिडर दिस लोड हंड्रेड किलो न्यूटन टू सो इट डिपेंड्स इफ इट फेल्स वट कॉस्ट विल बी देयर फॉर द फेलियर तो उस उस कंडीशन से मैं देखूंगा कि से दो लेना चाहिए मुझे कि डेढ़ लेना चाहिए कि सवा लेना चाहिए इट विल बी देयर देन रिलायबिलिटी ऑफ डाटा यूज्ड इन डिजाइन लाइक मटेरियल प्रॉपर्टीज दैट आई हैव डिस्कस्ड जस्ट नंबर ऑफ एजेंशंस एजेंशंस मेड इन द डिजाइन दैट आई हैव डिस्कस्ड एवरी एजेंशन विल इनवाइट द डेंजर सो यू हैव टू इनकॉर्पोरेट Uh, something in your design to fight against this uh, affect if failure takes place so monetary or life loss so life loss should not be must not be there uh, we should ensure if, i i believe ki if someone is able to purchase well and good if uh, he is not able to purchase if purchase it, it is always better to not purchase uh, if it is a it is a life threatening so factor of safety in mathematical formula for factor of safety is simple this is the failure stress upon allowable stress allowable stress what amount what magnitude of stress you allow to induce in the in the design components and what is the failure stress or If this is failure stress or nominal में बात करता हूँ तो failure stress is load upon area. So in case of the failure stress, I can write the failure load upon allowable load. So on the basis of the materials, 
we may have the two different formula for brittle material and the ductile material. So, for ductile material, uh, we have discussed the stress strain diagram. So, this is ductile material. So, for ductile material, we uh, as a designer, I do not want to uh, take my uh, uh, material beyond the elastic limit or the yield point. So, this is SYT is the failure stress for me because I do not want to get my design into the failure zone even in engineering failure. So, therefore, this failure stress is SYT and if allowable stress I denote by sigma a then factor of safety mathematically I can uh, live or I can decide the allowable stress. The failure stress upon factor of safety that is allowable stress. Design stress we uh, need to um, calculate for the design purpose. So, this is factor of safety, safety SYT upon sigma a. So, from this formula we generally find out the allowable stress or sigma d is the design stress this is equal to SYT upon factor of safety right. And, 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 and if it is in working condition to working factor of safety you can calculate the failure stress upon working stress that is a working factor of safety. Sometimes it is asked uh, in, in, in any interview or in any uh, question paper you may be asked what is the design factor of safety, what is the working uh, factor of safety. So, this is uh, you can uh, speak. Then for brittle material, this is a brittle material, there is no yield point. So, there is only uh, it will rise up to here and it get fractured that is called the ultimate. So, SUT. So, SUT is the ultimate tensile strength and it is called uh, or it is termed as the uh, uh, failure stress for the brittle material. So, factor of safety we can define this SUT upon sigma a and yahan se bhi isi tarike se hum sigma a agar brittle material hai to hum sigma a lete hain SUT upon 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 factor of safety. This factor of safety will be considered or will be selected by the designer on the basis of the uh, information av available and his wisdom and, and the experience. Right. Now, uh, we come to after factor of safety, we come to the theories of failure. So, uh, what is design equation before moving to the theories of failure and if it is a unidirectional loading condition, suppose, suppose this is a member, it is subjected to tensile load F, F and this is a cross section area A. So, I can calculate the induced stress sigma that is equal to f upon a that is all of you are aware from your strength of material course force upon area. I am not considering here any other effect which we will consider uh, during our design real design. So, this is sigma is equals to f upon a may say i. So, this is the induced stress induced stress and if it is uni, unidirectional, then on UTM universal testing machine, you have performed the tensile test, you will find this is SYT. Yield point in tension that is the failure stress or that is the uh, this is the maximum stress level you can uh, you can reach up to with the factor of safety 1. If you need some factor of safety, then your limiting value is this and this is your limiting value. So, if I generate if I write a relationship between the induced stress and this allowable value or allowable stress, if I write this is called the design equation. So, this value should be always greater than or equal to the induced value then this is called the successful condition successful condition and this is very easy when we are considering the unidirectional loading condition, but in practical cases then the practical and real, real, real time problems the loading is a complex nature and it is uh, 2D 2, 2 dimensional it is 3 dimensional 
or various tensile and compressive etcetera, etcetera, then it is very difficult. What is stress we should consider for comparison to get this uh, design equation? So, then the theories of failure will come into the picture for the complex state of stress. With the help of theories of failure, we uh, we, we derive or establish the design equation for the designing or for determining the dimensions and under this there are the various theories of failure. So, what is theories of failure? In the case of uniaxial loading, it is very easy to compare the strength with the induced stress and to predict the failure of the material. This is one what I have discussed here and, uh, and for uh, next. But in case of biaxial or triaxial stress, it is very difficult. So, we have to move to some other region and here we will consider the principal stresses, principal stresses and the relationship with the strength. So, what type of the stress, what type of the theories of failure? Uh, we have the following theories of failure may be used for the design, maximum principal normal stress theory, maximum strain theory and finance, maximum shear stress theory that is the trusk and gas theory, maximum total strain energy theory, mass maximum distortion energy theory. So, uh, these are the theories of failure which uh, I will uh, discuss in the next lecture. For, so, uh, in detail and we will discuss what theory of failure is applicable for what type of the materials and what type of the loading is to be considered for this particular type of the theory of failure or not. So, we will discuss about the theories of failure in the next lecture. So, uh, for today's lecture this is uh, from my side uh, thank you, thank you very much.